and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Mwaka the Wapreneur. If you're new here, hi and welcome. Don't forget to join the family by subscribing. In today's video, I just want to, you know, differentiate between A roll and B roll. A lot of people and a lot of new people, including myself, when I started uh, this YouTube journey, I didn't know what was the difference between the A roll and the B roll. Honestly, I didn't even know what was A roll and what was B roll or what roles, what these two roles were. <laughs> until I dig more bit deeper and try to understood when I was not trying to you know get into this YouTube thing then I was learning new things about um, videography the terms used and all that so I know someone might be there and be wondering how does this thing work how do you have two videos in the same in one video now we're going to talk about what A and B roll are and I'm also going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate later on, on how to make a B-roll and an A-roll. I am going to give basic definitions or basic description. I'm not even close to being a videographer, guys. This is, this is just something that I've just learned on my own. So I, it's not like I've gone for a course or anything. But I was like, let me just share with people new people beginners just like me who may not understand what these two things are so usually when you are watching videos um, you'd see two videos if I have to say that um, one is like the way I'm seated and then I am talking in the background whatever I'm talking or whatever I'm describing might be in front of me that is the second video that you see. Let's say I'm talking about a ring light. And then I'll, as I'm talking about the ring light, as I'm describing the ring light, a picture or a video of a ring light will be covered, will be the second thing that you see. And then all those specifications that I'll be mentioning, you'll be seeing them. I'm sure you have seen that a lot of times. Basically what happens is you have an arrow, which is the main video, and then a B-roll, is a second clip that you add into the existing or into the main video that is what a b-roll is in simpler terms so an a-roll is the main um, video that where you are reviewing or where you're talking about the certain thing and then a b-roll is the second clip that comes in that basically complements what you're talking about so in simpler terms that's what a b-roll is and that's what an a-roll is so i am going to show you how to do that on your smartphone the importance of these two is the a roll um i saw my first i can't remember how many videos i just used to sit like this and talk to people this and this and this this and this and this this that can be a bit boring and people may not want you know to to continue watching your videos especially if it, because your videos are not engaging so you want to keep your viewers on your video so that they can continue watching so in order for them not to be bored you need to be putting things that may you know <laughs> catching their attention here and there unless maybe for example you are doing tutorials on hair tutorials on makeup and all that but all in all if it's a sit down video like i am doing right now you don't want to just sit down for the whole 20 minutes explaining something or for the next 15 minutes talking about something without the viewers get to know you need to add an arrow so that people can actually engage and get to see what you're specifically talking about and get to understand why you're saying whatever you're saying because you can't just say this is a i'm talking about a samsung um, phone uh, the latest samsung phone it has this and this and that i'll be like okay i can't imagine all that so i need at least a reflection of whatever you're talking about so when you're talking about a special button you, i need to see how you press on that button how you use that button that is how you sell out to me that's how you keep me on your channel or that's how you keep me to get to watch that video until the end so the, that's why it's so so important that you have to consider adding b-rolls in your videos because it keeps um, your viewers engaged it keeps them uh, hooked is it the same thing I don't know if it's the same way if it means the same thing <laughs> but yeah it's more exciting for people to come back because though even if they've watched it once 
when they go and buy that thing or if they are thinking of buying it or if they are thinking of doing it they will always come back to that video so it's not one view that you get they may come back three four times for that specific video just because they want to come and see how you explained and how you did the deed at the end of the day you might be their favorite youtuber they'll be you, you know they'll turn on those, those notification bills so that when something new comes up they know they know you're going to be there for them then the moment you post notification they are the first people to view your videos so it's very important that you add your b-rolls because you're gonna get best friends that are going to subscribe to your channel that are going to help your community grow so with that being said let me show you how to add a b-roll on your smartphone hi guys we are using uh, CapCut uh, it's the app that I use to edit all my videos on my smartphone either for Instagram youtube or anything else so i'm going to work on this current project that i'm working on this is a video that i took a few days ago so it's the same video that you're watching and i just want to show you how you can insert your overlay so basically what you need to know first is to know where you want to add your overlay and also you need to have your overlay or you need to have your bureau when i talk about bureau i'm talking about overlay i'm talking about overlay i'm talking about bureau so i'll use the words interchangeably you can have your clips um ahead of time you can start with a whichever whether it's your bureau or it's your arrow it's really up to you so basically what i have now it's a video that was recorded a few weeks ago and then today i've just decided okay i'm going to talk about i'm going to add bureau to it so i know exactly where i want to add my bureau it's about um, this part the way i was talking about a ring light and i just took um, i just took um, clips or ring lights just now so the first thing that you do you get the place where you want to set your bureau then you go in CapCut. these are your tools these are the things that you're going to play around with you go to overlay and then you're going to add overlay so this will take you straight to your video clips so once you are here you go ahead and choose whichever video of your choice or the video that you're talking about or the bureau that you want to add to your um video so basically you see you can see the arrow in the background and then we have the bureau on top so what i'm doing i'm just you know using my two fingers to stretch out the bureau so you have two options on how you can um, do this bureau thing um, i'll start with this one where i cover everything actually i cover everything but you can still hear the background or you can still hear me talking in the background so that is how you do it so you can go ahead and play yes, as i'm talking about the ring light as i'm describing the ring light a picture or a video of a ring light will be covered will be the second thing that you see and then all those specifications that i've been mentioning you'll be seeing them i'm sure you have seen that a lot of times basically so that is one way that you can add your bureau to make sure that everything is in there okay so now i want for in case of people who are doing um vlogs so you don't want the sound to be in the background so you can uh, basically just go ahead and mute this part and then add now a uh, some sound to it you can add any um, music to it so what i'll do now i'll go to audio and then sounds you can either choose the sounds that come with a uh, cap cut or you can go to your phone if you have any i have one here so what i'll do is i'll just make sure that i go and tap until where the audio or the video ends then i go and cut it out there so i'll tap on split and then delete the excess so this is how it will look or a video offering light will be covered will be let me uh, mute that also so forgive me guys for it's glitching because the 
so that is how it will work you have your video playing in the background um, and then just showing the visuals forgive me for the glitching though because it's still processing i just opened and it's a bit of a bigger file so now we are going to delete um, the audio so you just step on the audio and delete and i'll put this back to a max volume just so i do not forget that clip so if you want to delete the b-roll this is basically where the b-roll is that's that so you go ahead and delete it but now guys i want to show you another way in which you can also have your b-roll in your a-roll so you go to overlay we'll use the same clip but this time we're going to make it smaller because we want you to show uh, the speaker in the a-roll and also in the b-roll so you can also do the same you can do this you can decide to do this that's yeah, one way of doing it I'm talking about a ring light and then I'll that is one way of doing it but right now uh the bureau this clip here it's on the same ratio as the arrow so i don't want it to work like that this is 16 by 9 this is 16 by 9 which is the youtube um ratio but i want to make it smaller so what i'll do is i'll go on that bureau and then i'll go to edit just so that we can crop it you know something like this i think something like this is okay so that's how it looks on our screen so it's, it's more realistic when you put it here it won't take that whole space that it was taking before earlier so you just put it there and then that's how it's talking about a ring light and then i'll as I'm talking about the ring light, as I'm describing the ring light, a picture or a video of a ring light will be covered, will be the second thing that you see, and then all those specifications that are... So that is how simply you can add your arrow and your, uh, your B-roll into your arrow using CapCut. Just make sure that you have your arrows ready. Uh, you can take them the same day you can send, take them at different days so it's different shots that you can take at different times okay so in the meantime guys i'd like you to watch these two videos that you see on the screen i'll see you in my next video